everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and what do I have to share with you today well, I have a high security vault it is from Wizarding Trunk and it is a Harry Potter themed subscription see magical post fragile magical delivery all right so let's untape this and see what we got. I think I might have seen what's in it on another channel by accident. I thought it was the box I had already received, so I may have gotten a little bit of spoilers by accident. Well, full spoilers into that section. All right. Um, we have a paper that tells us what we got. It's like a up on the bulletin board. <gasps> House tried. Just a moment. I gotta get a cat that's stuck. And guys, I do not think this is the one I saw. I think this is a whole different one. Okay, so um, this is done up like a, like a bunch of hosts on a bulletin board. So that's kind of neat. And let me give you a sneak peek inside the box. That's what she's looking like. Alright, so of course we have our squiggly wigglies on the top. Oh, you guys! I think this is a house pride box. I have already had a house pride box. Hopefully this one's different. Looks different. Alright, so uh, I am a Hufflepuff and look guys, I got this beautiful Hufflepuff Fennet sticker that I can put on a journal, make a Hufflepuff themed journal. And I could use this side of paper in it. Look, Hufflepuff right there. Can you see it? I hope you can. And it's pretty substantial pad of lined paper. I'd say 25, 30 sheets at least. Maybe even more. I'm loving that. Next, I have, look guys, I have a Hufflepuff hat for winter. Don't need it right now. Right now it's really hot, but it matches with my um, Hufflepuff scarf and everything. So, and I have a Hufflepuff uh, Universal Studios uh, Hufflepuff um, hoodie, the hoodie, and this will go right with that too. So, trying not to mess up my hair too bad, but there we go probably really oh it's stuck in my hair pin oh, that's great I snagged it with my hair pin right, well that's coming out <laughs> hopefully the other side stayed up I don't know anyways that is cute I like that I don't wear hats a lot but I do like that um oh Oh, 05. Um, 5 is my favorite number, so oh, 05. Cool, maybe that's my Quidditch number, guys. Um, what do we have here? This looks like some kind of tapestry. Or maybe a scarf, I'm not sure. Let's find out. Definitely a tapestry. It's a copy of one hanging at Hogwarts, I believe, in the Hufflepuff common room. There's a pheasant up here. And there's a lady right here with a unicorn. Ah, I can get a hold of the corner. So there's probably stuff to hang this, and that's pretty. I like that. There's a turtle there. I can see through the thing down here. Down here. Sorry, at the back of the uniform. So, it's me. I like that. And there's a guy who looks like a fryer over there. You know, because uh, Hogwarts is old school, so they have old pictures. All right. There's another thing, that maybe it's a scarf or another tapestry. I'm not sure. Uh, 
I'm going to open it and see. And of course, when we read the spoilers, it'll tell us. Oh, oh guys, it's not. It's a pillowcase. A Huffle Puff pillowcase. See the badger in the middle? Oh, I like it. Oh, I love it. Now I'd like to have one with the Hogwarts, you know, emblem. So that I have the Hogwarts and the Hufflepuff. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Love that. It's a really velvety texture. And it's got a zipper so you can stuff it. Or you can um, put a pillow, a pre-made pillow in it. Um, what I like to do is I like to go to uh, Dollar General. And they have pillows for like $3.44, something like that. And I like to take them apart and use the stuffing to stuff pillows like this because it's a lot cheaper than um, you can usually fill more than one it's a stuffing or one and a half or so depending on how full you like your pillow and um, way cheaper than buying the insert or stuffing hey can I get you out of here so I can see what else is in my box guys I have a Huffle Puff guy I actually have one already but here's another one I have an official licensed one, but I, but this is nice too, and I want to keep that. There's something else in a jar in here. And the lid's loose, it's a candle. Common room. So this is a candle for the Hufflepuff common room. So I wonder what it smells like. Oh, guys, it smells really good. It smells kind of like baked goods. And if you know anything about Harry Potter, the Hufflepuff common room is right next to the kitchens. <laughs> so I think it's fitting and appropriate that it smells like baked goods. To me, that's what it smells like. Let's see what it says on the candle. Brown sugar, butter rum, warm cinnamon, and loyalty. Yep. Baked goods. I love the smell of that. So single with candle. I don't know. Did I show you? And a nice couple puff yellow. And a nice label that says common room. I love that. That aside, something in a tube. And that's a nice heavyweight tube. Not like, you know, not like a uh, paper towel one. It's, it's heavy duty. In there. I think this may be an art print. Hi, baby Newt. Hi, little baby Newt. That's my baby Newt. Yeah, that's my baby Newt. As a Newt Scamander. Imagine that. Very hard. Alright. This is a print picture of the Hufflepuff common room. Sorry, I can't get it all the way flat. I'm going to frame it. I am going to frame it. It's got the fire, the fireplace, and the stairs, or the stairs, the fireplace, the chairs, and stuff like that. I don't know how well you know, and point it hanging from the ceiling. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's nice. I like that. Let's put it back in the tube, back in the plastic, so I can get a, um, I gotta get the measurements off of it and um, get an actual frame. It'll fit it. So I want it to stay nice. If I can get it back to the poster. No, this bit will do. I'm gonna put it in this pocket. Take too long. Oh. We have a pen. Let me get it out of the plastic because I don't want to see it without a reflection. It's a uh, pen of Helga Hufflepuff. Hopefully you can see that. That's nice. It's got two, two pin backs, so that it'll hang nicely. And next we have, ah, I'm a prefect. I got my prefect bag. Get it out so we can look at it with how good there. This is a really nice one. It's kind of got a yellow, um, like, um, glaze to it or something. Sorry. It's got like a yellow, like enamel or something, like in the background, and it says prefect. 
See, got my prefect back. It can go on my robes. I actually have my puff puff robe from Universal. We have the here's the hanging pit for the tapestry. There's something in an organza bag. That's it. It is a Hufflepuff ring. Let me see if I can get something and put it up against so you can see it. It's got the badger and on the sides it's got H and a badger on both sides and a badger face in the middle. I hope you can see that. I wonder if it will fit me. I don't know. Very big. I'd have to wear it on again. Too big for me, but love it. Hey, can you get out of the box, Mr. Nubs? Thank you. There is something in a box. Let's see what that is. It's heavy. Golden Glow Seeds. So look at this, it's a potion, Golden Glow Seeds. It's a like a potion ingredient, I would say. A species of double snare impervious to light. Golden Glow. So it's got black and yellow orbies in there. And a nice stopper and got a detail of some um, Juke twine around there. It's got a place where you could put a spoon. I don't think the spoon is in here unless it's in the box. <gasps> it is in here. Aha! Look, guys. Put your little spoon right there. A little wooden spoon. That is amazing. I love that. I love that. Put it right there so it doesn't get broken, hopefully. Okay. Oh, Alright. Now, there's some pints down in the bottom of here. And I have a cat sitting on it. Let me try to get the cat off of it. You can stay in the box. Stay in. Alright. First, uh, this has a few things in it. First, we have a note from your prefect. It must be from me, because I'm the prefect, because I got the prefect bag. It says, Dear students, someone has been breeding mandrake, mandrake plants in the common room. All magical plants growing in uh, is supposed to take place in the greenhouse and be monitored by students of an adequate grade level. Please safely re uh, remove these seedlings or as soon as possible. This incident does not need to be reported to the headmaster as long as it is corrected in a timely manner. Sincerely, your prefect. So apparently, I found somebody growing mandrakes in the common room, and they need to not have them growing in the common room. Next, you have a uh, notice. It says, Salem Sisters Live in the Great Hall, October 31st. So it's advertising um, a band, and then instead of being the, um, what was, the, can't think, I, the name was there, and now it's gone, but anyways, this is the Salem Sisters. So that's a nice little, little paper uh, piece. And I love this one. I'm going to frame it and hang it. Mandrake seedlings for sale. Non-lethal until adulthood. Eremos not included in sale. Meet a greenhouse. Three. And bring your own pot and topsoil. How cool is that? I like that. And it's like parchment on the back. Oh, you got a toy. I see it. 
and um, the one for the Salem sisters is hearts in it on the back and it looks aged and so is the notice or the letter from the um, prefect they all have you know they've got that nice back to it so it's a nice replica that you can hang or you can display you know somewhere um, where somebody picking it up would be able to see the back um, really nice oh there's something else in here guys I thought it was done but I'm not there's something else besides a kitty cat there's a key to my comedy room get it out of the bag this is so awesome it has Helga Hufflepuff Puff's goblet right there and a, let me get it against something so you can see. It also has the badger. Put it swinging. See that key? Hopefully you can see the details on it. It's so awesome. So now I have the key to the common room. Alright, so let's recap, guys. Well, let's read the spoiler. We'll recap that way. Number one is the school tie, which of course mine is yellow and black because I'm a Hufflepuff. It says, one of the required items of the school uniform is your school tie. We have included a brand new one in this box so you don't have to take a trip to the wizarding alley and pick one up. Cool. Number two is the common room painting which these common room paintings were created for us by Queen Ma and Wizardry Workshop PWT exclusive Wizarding Trunk exclusive I don't know if that's supposed to be uh, the common room painting maybe that poster in here um, Slouchy Slouchy House Beanie, and we know that that's right here in the yellow and gray black color. No, sir, you cannot have that. You cannot have that, no. Um, it says, these Slouchy House Beanies were created specially for the students that received the Wizarding Trunk. And it's an exclusive item. Hey, quit. You're knocking stuff down, little man. Portrait pen right here it says this pen depicts a very important person in the history of your house so it's uh, the house founder uh, Helga Hufflepuff the house is named for house team letterman pouch where did it go or patch not pouch patch where did it go over here. Maybe it's over here. It's this cat. Oh. Underneath Squiggly Wigglies because he's throwing them at me, please. Alright. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Here's my patch. Your letterman patch is in. The patch number represents the position you play on the house team. So, whatever five is. I have to find that out. Common room key. Having trouble remembering that common room password? Afraid to write down the answers again for fear of what happened last time you did that? This key should help. Designed for us by JP Missile Pro, and it's a um, Wizard and Trunk exclusive, of course. And then we have house stationery. That's the next item. And what does it say about the house stationery? Perfect for note taking in your magical or non magical subject. Designed for us by Wizardry Work Wizard Degree Workshop. And of course, it's a Wizarding World Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Um, that's the seventh item. Eight is the prefect pen.
and it says about that, congratulations on becoming a new school prefect designed in house. Uh, number 10, common room tapestry. That one go right here, remember? This one. And it says, these tapestries can be found in each of the common rooms designed by a wizardry work workshop. 11 common room notice. I think that must be this. I think there was something else, so it must be this. Right. Just a few of the notices that were posted to your common room notice board, written in collaboration with the Woodland Pumpkin Wizardry Workshop and designed by a Wizardry Workshop. Well, the class ring. Oh, it's a wax stamp, guys. The ring, it's a uh, wax stamp, so it'll make the badger face on your wax seal. That's really cool. Your class ring has arrived, created for display, but can be used as a wax stamp, designed by Wizardry Workshop. Vinyl decal. This vinyl decal was designed for us by J.P. Mistlepro. 15, common room candle. And I think the notices was the note from the prefect and the, uh, not this, uh, the note from the prefect and the um, poster, like of the mandrake for sale, and, um, and the um, Salem Sisters. I think that's what those were. Vinyl decal. This vinyl decal was designed for us by J.P. Missile Crow. Oh no, I already read that. The common room candle. These candles were created to smell like your common room, created for us by the Laurel Mountain Candles. They were designed by Queen Mad and Wizardry Workshop. And 14 was the throw pillow cover. These pillow covers were designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. And you remember it was a vodka wine. I did not put it upside down. And then we had the, the prints, remember? Where did they go? I think I have a cat on mine. Can I see a box? These prints, remember? The Salem Sisters concert. The prefect note. And the mandrake poster. Those were the ones that they were talking about. The, uh, notes past the bulletin board notices all right guys oh my goodness 15 14 15 items uh the next team boxes potions class yay anyways um wait did they not say the what does it say up here house house potions oh okay because it's up here deadly nightshade could have been disillusionment draft, it could have been wide eye potion or the tangled uh, golden glow, which is what we got. So the dead, deadly nightshade says this dried berry is used in a variety of deadly potions. It is extremely poisonous and should not be ingested. Disillusionment draft, this potion makes the drinker take on the exact color of their surroundings. Essentially, rendering them invisible. No invisibility cloak required. The wide-eyed potion, this potion helps in keeping you awake for long study sessions in the library. So I'd say the nightshade was probably Slytherin's disillusionment draft, probably Gryffindor. Wide-eyed potion was probably Ravenclaw. And of course the tangled golden glow says these two glooms produce a new species of magical plants similar to double snare but unaffected by sunlight. They are also used to brew the constricting concoction. Bottled for us by Pure Blood Apothecary designed by Wizardry Workshop. Alright. What do you think of my box this time? I'm I'm I can't believe they sent fifteen items. I think it's sixteen when you count the potion ingredient. 
Um, wow. Wow, guys. I am impressed. I am I love this box. Of course I do. I'm a helpful puff. What is there not to love? Uh, there's not an item that I don't like. I love everything. Uh, my favorite. Oh, my goodness. My favorite might be the helpful puff pillow case or the candle. But I love everything. There's not a thing here that I am not pleased with. So I can't pick a not favorite. Um... Maybe the sister, the uh, Salem sisters print or the prefect one, but only because, you know, I had, if I had to pick something, it was my least favorite, but they're all my favorite, actually. So anyways, tell me what you think. What house are you in? Have you been sorted? Um, obviously, I'm a, a Hufflepuff, and my husband's a Ravenclaw. So. All right, guys, uh, please give me a big old thumbs up. You know, that would really help my channel, and please subscribe to my channel. And please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well. Because I'm getting really close to that 1,000. And I'm so excited and I just, I can't wait. So if you would share my video, maybe it'll happen a little faster. Thank you guys so much for watching and for listening to me babble. And I'll see you again in a minute in another video. Bye guys.